this is the last vestige of a herd of three and a half to four million bison that once lived here for thousands of years. It is a part of Texas history that must not be lost. My name is Wyman Menzer and I'm a professional photographer. You know, every time I drive into this country, it, I'm, I'm reminded of the, some of the words from the old Buffalo Hunters and Pioneers journals about the, uh, the wildlife that existed here, the bison especially. Literally millions of them. I actually saw the old film that was uh, released in 1916. It was an opportunity to see the way that the, the Native Americans hunted. It was just a glimpse into the past that we will never see again. These are Southern Plains bison that for thousands of years have roamed this area. My name is Donald Beard. I'm the park superintendent here at Caprock Canyon State Park. It's almost 14,000 acres of some of the most rugged, beautiful canyon lands in the state of Texas. The light just does amazing things in here. We're the home of the official state of Texas bison herd. These bison have unique genetic markers not found in any other bison in the world. They are an important, crucially, vitally important part of the conservation of the species of bison. The great kill occurred really in 1877 when they said like over a million bison were killed in Texas. Each buffalo hunter killing uh, hundreds of buffalo in a matter of days. It was here on the J.A. Ranch in the late 1870s when, when Charles Goodnight and his wife Mary established the, the buffalo herd that is today is on Caprock Canyon State Park. She saw the slaughter occurring, felt for the bison, saw the little calves, and just decided, you know, I'm gonna save some of them. Jay Wright Moore, when he talked about coming up in this region and, the, and, and just seeing a herd of buffalo, you know, uh, 10 miles deep and 110 miles wide. And it's just, it just, it just amazes me to think that this country could could support that many, that many creatures. We're in the process of performing our annual gathering and working of the Texas State Bison Herd. What we do is we administer vaccines to safeguard against various diseases. All right, she needs blood work. We perform pregnancy checks on the females, do an overall health check of all the animals. Just make sure everybody's good and healthy and just, just general health check. Make sure it's all good. These are just amazing creatures. And when you're down on the ground with them and you're up close with them, you really get a sense of how massive they are. You have to kind of pinch yourself every now and then so you don't take it for granted. There's a buffalo down there. So our goal is to expand their territory here in the park from about 300 acres into approximately 1,000 acres of native grass restored prairie land. What we have done is we've allowed the animals to come into their new pasture. We are restoring an indigenous wildlife to its native habitat. The genetic pool of Southern Plains bison will roam the old trails of the millions before them. And I'm very thankful for that. This is its 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 historic home. Is we're fulfilling Marianne Goodnight's vision. With the dust, with the light, even though I'm viewing a herd of 75 or 80 through a lens, I'm thinking of 10,000.
because of the long-term view of people like Charles Goodnight and Mary Ann Goodnight, the J.A. Ranch, Texas Parks and Wildlife, we still have these wonderful beasts among us. That one, that one, this is so exciting just to see this, just to picture what it was like long, long ago. We have tried to look at every aspect possible as far as the safety of both the animals and the visitors. When you come in the park, you are in the habitat with the bison. They are wild animals. They can run 35 miles an hour faster than a horse. We have designed this fence. So it's as strong as it can be and still maintain that free-ranging appearance where they're not behind a, an exhibit. I think our biggest key is going to be visitor education. We have to let these people know that when they come in here, these are wild animals, that they need to keep their distance and keep safe. Eventually, we hope to have the herd roaming just the entire park itself. These magnificent animals, the Texas State Bison Herd, the last remnants of the great Southern Plain Bison, these animals belong to the state of Texas. They're your animals. It's a great opportunity to come view the last of their kind as we try to do our best to expand their range and grow the herd.